ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் எஸ்ஏபிஎஸ்டி அண்ட் அபேப் லீக் சப்போர்ட் as we discussed in our previous session that we need to do the configuration in two apps the first one is that configure substitution strategy and the second one is that configure alternative control today we'll see about this app configure substitution strategy so i i i have already opened this app let me click create now so we need to define the strategy name like test and a description and you see one of the important configuration here substitution item type so we here we have three options the first one is that allow inline substitution and sub item generation so whenever we choose this option system what it will do if system identifies that the stock can be confirmed with a single plant then that particular item will be modified with the alternative plant where stock is available for example order has been placed with the plant sun 520 but stock not available and it is available in the plant sun 530 then in this case as per this configuration that plant will be replaced with sun 520 only no sub item will be generated only single item will be there that is item number 10 in other cases if the stock can be confirmed with multiple different plants if there is no stock available in sun 520 plant but it's available in different plants like two different plants sun 530 and sun 5 sun 540 for example order quantity is 20 then 10 quantity available in sun 530 plant and one more 10 quantity available in sun 540 plant so the total order quantity is available in two different plants in this case what will happen system will propose sub item generation for the sun 530 and 7540 so let me try to explain in better way okay order placed with quantity 10 in the plant 7520 but no stock available in this plant stock available in sun 530 7540 okay let me make it as a 20 okay in 7530 10 quantity available in 7540 10 more quantity available so there is no full quantity 20 available in either of this plants sun 530 and sun 540 so partially only available so in this case in order we can see three items the main item is 10 with sun 520 plant and uh, passner 11 with sun 530 plant with 10 quantity confirmed and passner 12 with sun 540 plant with 10 quantity confirmed remember that you know that there is one field in vbap that is ue pos so ue pos referring to the higher level item right for these two items 11 and 12 the higher level item will be
the high level item will be 10 only that is the, it's referring that the parent item is uh, item 10 11 tool are the child item the, of the item 10 so with this configuration system will generate the sub items if for example if complete 20 quantity available in the plant 7530 then what will happen then system will simply replace 7520 plant with 7530 right so with this option two things can happen either one of the things can happen either sub item can be generated or with a single item plant can be replaced that's the useful of this first option allow inline substitution and sub item generation the second option what we see here is that force inline substitution so in this case the sales order will contain a single requirement item and the original requested delivery plant will be replaced by the alternative delivering plant so in this case system will use one plant for sure so in this case straight away system will replace that with other plant that is 7530 for example in this case so this is what will happen in case of this option that is forceful substitution and forcefully it will replace that plant simple and the last one is that force sub item generation so it will simply propose the sub items forcefully it will never replace the main item 10 it will simply replace the i mean it will simply add the sub items for the main item 10 so that is the meaning of these three options the first option will be combined with the option of inline substitution as well as sub item generation the second option force inline substitution will uh, forcefully replace the plant in the original item 10 only and the last option sub item will be generated for sure okay so we need to select this option here let me go with the first option so then we have one more option here consider the alternatives so here always means here we have two options always and depends on execution context so always means this substitution can take place in the VA01, VA02 and whenever availability check will be carried out. Okay, so if I select depends on execution context, I will get two more options here. You see, when should we consider? If I click this drop down, I can see two options, new and posted. If I select this option new, then what will happen? System tries to do this ABC validation in case of an new items only. New item in the sense, in case of creation of an order only. In case of change of an order, no ABC will take place. No validation, nothing will take place in change V02. This is the new meaning of the new and uh, coming to a posted so posted will work in case of an opposite way to new that is change only 
so whenever we change the existing requirements that time only this will be triggered for example if you see this notepad we have uh, created an order with 20 quantity right but if you change the quantity now an order has been uh, placed with the 20 sub item has been generated right if you change the quantity to 50 in this case it's a change either it may be v0 to or it may be in va01 change anything change means any cases in that cases if requirements means quantity has been changed or reduced in those cases if you mention posted then only the change will be considered right it's always suggestible that we should always go with the always option if you go with always means system will simply do the abc determination all the cases creation of an order the creation of an order itself if you change the requirements and in case of change of an order if you change the requirements or in the change of an order if you add a new item in all the cases this always will handle so remember this option so these two are the important options available in the configure substitute strategy which will determine when this abc should work and how the sub item should be generated or the existing line should be replaced with a different plant and here we have substitution methods by default in sap s4 runner 2020 version we have only one option that is select all eligible plans so it's already by default selected apply this fine then in the building rules we have multiple options here we can discuss about this building rule in the next session that's it from this video guys we can catch up in the next video bye for now